Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead C. Today we're back in the garden. I thought I'd give you guys a little update on what's been going on here in the garden. It's been really, really hot, I think, all over the country and us here in Central Florida, it's been very hot. So I wanted to show you guys here how all of my seminal pumpkins have taken over like half of my garden. All of these here, there's like maybe two zucchini plants in here. These are all my seminal pumpkins and they are going crazy. I have like two pumpkins just right here. This one's almost done here. And then that one might be a calabaza, but there's a really nice big pumpkin right in there. I mean, they're all over, tons of pumpkins. So I'm really excited about that. I did harvest a few already. A lot of my peppers are getting nice and tall. These are my poblanos. And I already did a full round of pickled banana peppers a couple weeks ago. I wanted to try it out first before I showed you guys how I did it. But this next round, I'll um, show you guys. My tomatoes are just about done over here. These are my summer broccolis that I tried. And they came out fantastic. I already harvested a little bit of those. My only advice is you really don't want to go too far down on the stem like you can with a regular block broccoli. It, it needs to be pretty close up to that flowerette. It's pretty tough down there. So my fence is not holding up very good with some of these tomatoes and weeds that have been growing around the outside here. Um, so it's knocked down all of my um, tool and everything. So I'll definitely have to replace that every year, but it's cheap enough. It's not a big deal. Uh, my green beans are finished, but I wanted to show you guys what I planned on doing. Um, down here, I roped off a couple of plants here with the twine to mark them so we didn't pick them so that these could dry on the vine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to seed save these. So once you let them get, I can open this one up for you. Once you let them dry on the vine, they get nice and, and hard and crispy. And then there's your seeds right there. So I can save these for next year and I can plant these seeds. So um, I was gonna, it, we got some rain today, so I'm not gonna pick them today, but um, in the next uh, day or so, once they dry out a little more again, I'll go ahead and grab my two different varieties. These are Blue Lake and these are Contender. I liked them both. I wanna grow them both again. So I'll just make sure I keep them separate so I can grow them separately. And you guys, jalapenos go really like crazy. I wish I had <laughs> really realized um, how much. Oh, but look, the other day I was playing around with the seeds just to make sure it would sprout. So I put one right in there and there's a little baby green bean. So it does work. They will grow you a new plant of green beans. So these are my tomatoes. I am definitely going to have to do a little better in my management here. Um, with these plants, but I'm getting a bunch of romas. I'm just throwing them in the freezer as they ripen because I don't have enough to make a batch of sauce yet. So I'm thinking next year I might do cattle panels for all of my tomatoes and maybe they'll um, hold up a little better. I'm going to get my green onions up here, make some onion top pesto, put the rest of the onions in the freezer to use. So my cherry tomatoes here are just about all finished. I can probably maybe get a few more off of here. These were all volunteers. These I planted on purpose and they um, died pretty quickly. So, isn't that weird? The ones that you didn't plan to plant are the ones doing the best. But I'll throw in a picture here at the end of my video here, how many of these seeds I get. And I think it's gonna be enough for the next year or two, hopefully. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you viewing. All right, so here's what I finished harvesting. These are the Blue Lake Bush Beans. I got 291 of these seeds. I actually counted them, <laughs> which was silly, but um, I just wanted to kind of get an estimate of how many I got. And then these are the contender bush beans. Um, they look slightly different, a little bit larger, a little bit darker in color. And I didn't count these, but I would say well over 100, maybe close to 200 of those. A lot of these were actually starting to sprout already in the pod, so I had to discard those. So this is what I have for next year and probably the year after and get to share with some friends. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.